It's the final few seconds before the lights go out and the race to the podium begins. You know this battle will be won off the track as well as on it. You've studied your tactics, anticipated every move like a grand master. You've researched and analyzed, modified and fine-tuned to perfection. You have honed your instincts to give you an edge over your rivals. Your drivers focused, your team ready. The championship in the balance. First past the checkered flag, the goal. Epic victory or ultimate failure. Welcome back F1 Manager family to another F1 Manager video. Today's video we're back on our Let's Play account. And we're going to be doing uh, some Let's Play today. We're going to be doing some far, uh, pushing today. Uh, let's see if we can... Let's see how much flags. All right, so we just need 117 more flags to unlock uh, Series 8. As you can see, our drive, we're doing good in Series 7 and Series 6. I have been doing some farming in Series 4. Also, have been doing some streams uh, over on Twitch TV uh, for this account as well. So, if you're interested in seeing uh, farming when I'm farming with this account, you can go give us a follow over there by Twitch. The link is in the description. All right. So we're using Kimmy and Grosjean now for this account. Uh, also using the fast pit time tune uh, for duels, as you know me. I'm all about the fast pit time tune, 100%. All right, we have an upgrade there for the phaser. Let's upgrade that right away. As you know, I like to upgrade my assets right away. As there, is an, as there is an available upgrade. All right. Uh, let's finish get the car set up. And let's go out into Series 7 and get some wins. All right. So we have this Platinum Crate here uh, that we received in a Series 7 race while we were on stream over there on Twitch. Let's see what we get in this Platinum Crate. Hopefully we get some good stuff. All right. So we got some... Suspension, nice, we get some engager, that's good. Vacuum. Russell. Oh, the gecko, I hate this part so much. Lewis Hamilton unlocked right there. Let's take a screenshot of that right there. There we go, Lewis Hamilton right there unlocked at Series 7 in a Platinum Crate, awesome. There we go, Valerie Bottas unlocked in that very same Platinum Crate. So this is a Mercedes Platinum Crate here, guys. Pretty insane, a Mercedes Platinum Crate right there. There we go, let's look at our drivers. Hamilton, now whenever Hamilton comes in the shop, now I can start to save uh, to buy Hamilton uh, from the shop. As you can see, he's pretty good at level one. Uh, but not better than or current drivers he's at the same overtaking and uh, he has more consistency than Grosjean however his tire management is weak uh, until you level him up all right so we're going to keep him there let's look at Valerie Bottas uh, no match for these levels of Kimi and Grosjean all right so we're going to be saving now or bucks we have 200 uh, let's see who's in the shop today all right no Hamilton so we're going to be saving our bucks until we see Hamilton in the shop. We're going to be buying him. That's all we're going to be spending the remainder of our bucks on. Buying Hamilton uh, to the higher level. So let's get straight into this race in Series 7. Alright, so we're taking our time to get a match. Remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notifications if you haven't already subscribed for all your F1 Manager content. Really appreciate you guys for all your support. Uh, also remember, leave a like on the video. Go ahead, join the like squad, smash that like button. And let's go. All right, so this is a wet qualifiers. Oh, wow. And we're out qualified there, but that's okay by Hamilton and Gasly that's okay all right let's go into these soft tires as you know this is a seven lap race so the three two two technique is the best technique for seven lap races uh, start off with soft 
uh, go for three laps, come back into two laps and boost the finish from there into those second and third set of hard tires. All right, Kimi got blocked out, so now he's going to come out at 20, 24. He made his way up to 23. Grosjean getting blocked there as well. So let's cut our drivers down here. Let's see our rival's tire management. He's using Hamilton, so Hamilton will only give him two laps. Uh, while we're going to go for three laps. Gasly also uh, is going to give him two laps. Uh, while we're going to go for three. Uh, in Series 7 here, uh, three things to take into consideration when picking your drivers for Series 7. You want your drivers with good overtaking and good consistency. You also want your drivers with good tire management for Series 7. Alright? Because Series 7 is a bit tricky uh, than the rest of the series in the game. Uh, so make sure you have drivers with good tire management, overtaking and consistency for Series 7. Alright. Alright, so Kimi end up uh, in 24, Grosjean and now in 20. And our rival Hamilton is doing good and Gasly is doing good for our rival. However, they're going to go to pit now in the, in the second lap here while we're going to go to pit in the third. Uh, so we will be able to make up some positions uh, and get up some of that time. Uh, against our rival hopefully he's not using a fast pit time tune so he will be in the t in the pit stop for a little while as you can see he's not he's in there for a little bit it's going to be wet he's out into hard tires let's go back around let's boost now by pit get both drivers here let's cut back down Grosjean let's go 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 Kimi alright so we got a few positions with both drivers and we're just in the sweet spot where we're going to go back to pit into the wet tires. Alright, so we're in the sweet spot here. And we're going to do the same. We're going to boost for two or three laps since we're going into wet tires. Uh, it's possible to get three laps. So we're going to boost for two or three laps and come back into pit. Alright, let's see. Give Kimi a little boost there. Alright, so he didn't go to the inside to try and squeeze in. So let's boost now into pit both drivers. Fast pit time tune. Let's see if or Grosjean can get out of pit before that ri or rival Gasly comes around. All right, so he he got out, but he got stuck on that car right there, but he's still out in front, so that's okay. All right, so we're now in those wet tires. Our rival is in hard tires, and that's going to give us an opportunity if he remains on those hard tires until 50%. Uh, he's going to get slowed. And then we will be able to, or drivers will be able to get the overtakes done and possibly try to secure this win here. There goes Grosjean, doing pretty good. Kimi coming up, back from 24. He's making his way. All right. All right, so our rival decides not to go to pit here. So he's going to get stuck on those uh, hard tires in the wet while Grosjean is going to catch up. Here we go. This is what we want to see. So he's going to get stuck and slowed. And now uh, Kimi, we just need Kimi now to do some work and get up into these positions as Grosjean will be catching up to our rival. And we're going to go for an extra lap and go back to pit in the six into a fresh pair of wet tires. All right. And here we go. Grosjean caught up. And should get the overtake done here. Nice driving here from Grosjean. We're going to go for that extra lap uh, because we have the tire management to do so. We have the extra tires to do so, I should say. And let's go back to pit now. We could go back to pit with Kimi and let Kimi uh, catch up, but we're going to go for the extra lap. Create some distance since our rival is on those hard tires in the wet above 50%. All right, so he decides to go to pit with his Gasly there. Uh, so his Gasly is going to come out way behind. Now for Kimi to get around this car on the straightaway here and create some distance between himself and that Gasly. So when we go to pit, uh, we get out in front and secure this win. All right. And there we go.
we go. Grosjean getting in and out of pit back in 6th place due to a fast pit time between 1.52 seconds and he's back out in 6th. Kimi now creating good distance between himself and the rival so he should get out of pit uh, right behind that number 16 car and in front of the number 17 car. 158 right behind the number 16 in front of the number 17. Alright so he got out right in front of the number 16 as well. Alright so we're now low on fuel. Uh, for the final lap we're going to let them go into conserve automatically uh, by themselves. And then we can serve into the finish. There goes Kimi going down to conserve into the finish. Grosjean still boosting. Trying to get that last position. He's now out uh, to conserve into the finish. Nice race there from our drivers. Let's give our rival a well done. And a good luck. Also a good race from our rival. Alright. Let's wait on this race to finish. And let's get into the next one. Alright. Got a gold crate there from Series 7. Let's keep going. That was a fast match. Let's see the qualifiers. All right, so we're on Monaco. Monaco is is the trickiest track in F1 Manager uh, to master, but I think I found a strategy that is absolutely good for Monaco at low levels. All right, so if if you're at uh, these levels. Uh, and you're racing on Monaco. I think this strategy is the best strategy that I've found so far. Alright, so it's going to be wet in the middle. Alright, so we're starting off with soft tires. We're going to conserve for four laps here. And then possibly go into those wets. Alright, so our rival got qualified way in front here. He's going to go in hard. Uh, let's cut down there with Kimi. Let's cut down here with Grosjean. As we want to go for four laps on these soft tires and what I what I'm trying to do uh, in these uh, new techniques uh, is try to move away uh, from the start with hard tires uh, so when you're in your conserve phase on hard tires uh, the, the AI cars on soft tires tend to overtake you real fast so I'm trying to move away uh, from soft tires from hard tires uh, so you can go now into conserve on on move away from hard tires I should say and so you can go into conserve on soft tires to give your drivers a better opportunity and a faster race all right so arrival is opted to go with a split strategy here he's going with soft tires for his Norris and hard tires for his Kimi and those that Kimi on hard tires is going to be defending a lot uh, because he also has drivers behind Carlos Sainz and Lance Stroll on hard tires as well. So he's going to hold them right there in that position. Alright, so we're good for four laps. 56% uh, in two laps. So 25% per lap. Grosjean uh, is good for five laps there. With 55% uh, crossing the finish line. So he's good for five laps while Kimi is good for four. So we're going to go for four laps with both drivers and go into those hard tires. As you can see our rival Norris, his tire management is way low. So he'll have to go to pit this lap, which is the third. There he goes into pit. That gives us an opportunity now to boost our drivers by pit to see if we can catch that position. And once again, uh, we see our rival making that mistake to go to hard tires uh, when the rain is coming in. Let's cut down here both drivers and go to those wet tires and this is going to be a one stop we're not going to come back to pit after we pit into these wet oh so the sun is coming out uh, in okay so we should go to hard tires here 
and not wet. Uh, the wetter, the sun is going to come out. Cloudy is going to come out real quick. Let's boost now into pit. we we'll go drivers. Let's see if his Kimi goes into soft tires. All right, so he's going for five laps. He's using the five lap technique with his Kimi, which he's going for five laps. We're going to go into hard here. As the sun is going to come back out, I thought that rain was going to come in. Uh, if that rain had come in for like uh, just about a minute and a half, uh, then that would have played right into our hands uh, with the weather there. Uh, but it didn't. It just came for a few seconds. It's back uh, on partly cloudy with some sun. All right. So this one is definitely not in the bag. Unless our rival makes a huge mistake, uh, this one is definitely uh, gone. There goes Grosjean suffering a breakdown. That's okay. Alright, so our rival went to Kimi with soft tires. He will be boosting after he just did five laps on those hard. So no way we are catching back up to our rivals Kimi or Norris here. Unless he goes back to pit with his Norris. Uh, then that would give us an opportunity to catch up. As Grosjean has been doing some good driving uh, to make up some positions. It doesn't look like our rival will be going back to pit with his Norris as well. So it's just now up to Kimi uh, and Grosjean to make up some position. Kimi getting stuck on this McLaren car here. All right, so he's not getting around the McLaren, but he had he has caught up to a rival. So let's see if Kimi can squeeze by this McLaren here, number ten. Who is it? Carlos Sainz. Let's see if Kimi can squeeze by Carlos Sainz here, and probably sneak by our rival and get this win. Norris on the breakdown. He's on conserve. Let's cut down and boost. Use that boost to cut down boost technique. Kimi got blocked in there from Norris, from Call of Signs. Grosjean still doing good, making up some position. We're on the final lap. The last chance, last opportunity for Kimi to get around uh, these drivers. Last opportunity. He's not going to make it at all. Good race. Well done, bro. Good luck. So from the poor start that we had... This is a good come up and this technique is pretty good to use four laps and soft tires and the remainder of the laps on hard tires on boost still a good technique we just got a poor starter there uh, and a poor qualifiers that one cost us the race let's get into the next one Let's see if we can get a uh, revenge on Monaco here for our final race. Let's see. Monaco, Monaco, Monaco. All right, so we're back on Monaco here to prove this technique. Uh, let's see if we just need to get a better qualifiers uh, than the one that we previously did. We don't have to be in front. We just need to be close. All right. So this one looks like a better qualifiers. Let's hope for a, a better start. Go on those soft tires. He's using Kimi and Gasly. Let's go guys. So starting off with a boost. He's going with the reverse split. Going with Kimi in the front with hard tires uh, to defend uh, the pack so his Gasly can catch up and possibly get around. Uh, his Kimi, let's cut down there. Let's cut down there with Grosjean as well. Good driving here from Kimi. Let's give him a little boost to support his driving skills there. All right, let's cut him back down here. Good driving also from Grosjean here. Let's give him a little bit of boost as well. Let's cut back down there. 
support Kimmy with some boost. Cut that down. Alright, so we're going to go for four laps. Once again, our rival opted for the split. He's doing the reverse split this time around. Let's give him a well done. And let's give him a good lap. Alright. Let's go guys. Let's go Grosjean. Made his way up to 19. So he gained one position from 20. I see the tire management going across the finish line. Uh, 55. So Kimi at this point is good for 5 laps. Grosjean at 59. Really good for 5 laps with Grosjean. So we could get 5 laps with Grosjean at this level. Level 6. So if your Grosjean is level 6. Uh, it is possible to consider for 5 laps with your Grosjean on Monaco. For Kimi on the harder end. Uh, if you start off with the boost. Uh, if you cut the boost a little earlier. Then you can possibly get 5 laps with Kimi. Alright let's boost Grosjean here as our rival. Now uh, Gasly will be going into pit. And we want to try and get by him as he's in the pits. There goes the undercut. Nice boost in there from Grosjean as well. Let's cut him down now. Putting those R tires as we're doing the one stop. Four soft and four hard on boost. All right, let's boost Kimi now into pit from here. And we can also boost Grosjean now into pit from here as well. Alright, so our rival Kimi looks like he's going for 5 laps. Yep, he's going for 5 laps and we're in and out of the pits right in front. Let's see if Grosjean can get out right behind our rival Gasly here. Right behind, nice. Hold that 18, yep, hold that 18. And yeah, this one is in the bag. So as you see, this one we got we got a better qualifiers. Uh, so our drivers uh, did a lot better versus this opponent. His Gasly definitely is going to have to go back to pit uh, before the race finish. Grosjean trailing, trying to get the overtake done. Go to the inside. Dive in the inside there. Nah, Grosjean didn't take that dive. Keep using that cut down technique. Kimi has gone. Grosjean should go to, his Gasly should go to pit here. In this lap. And that should give us the win. Comfortably, I should say. Because we're already going to win. There he goes into the pits. And let's boost by. Well done, and good luck. So that's the best one stop I've found for uh, Monaco. Four laps on soft, and four laps on hard tires on boost. Versus to do the reverse, where you go for five laps on soft tires on conserve. And uh, five laps on hard tires, I should say and conserve and boost in the finish uh, with soft tires we did the reverse and go for four laps on soft tires and boost on hard tires to give us a faster race all right though it's not uh, the absolute uh, killer at overtaking and getting positions on these hard tires in the finish it will manage to get you the wins. Alright, and if you have good qualifiers uh, with high tune, high performance tunes for the GP events, if you're racing on Monaco for the GPs and you have a high performance tune and you get better qualifiers, uh, you have a better finish. Alright. Alright, so uh, the code word for uh, this video is going to be Series 
7. So leave code word series 7 down in the comments to let me know that you made it to this portion of the video. Really appreciate you guys for all your support. And let's go. Road to 10,000K where I'll be doing a brand new editing where I'll be putting my face in the videos for my reactions as well. So yeah, let's go guys. Remember to leave a like. Leave a subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Subscribe to the channel. And remember to share these videos. Alright, that's going to be it for this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.